Hi, this is Yaroslav from ShareMarch.com, and today we're going to take a look at how to uh, display a roll-up from uh, subsites on on your wiki page um, using uh, SharePoint Designer. Uh, so, in here, I have a regular uh, wiki site, and if I go to View All Site Content here, if I scroll down below, you'll see that I have a number of uh, project sites. So, what I'd like to do, I'd like to actually roll those projects up on my home page, uh, which is a wiki page. So, I'm going to use SharePoint Designer to do that and I'm gonna open up my site. I'm gonna access site pages and edit my home page in advanced mode. In here, what I'll, I'll pick the area where I want my uh, content to appear and I'll just put it right on the top of the, on the, top of the site here, uh, right in this area. And uh, this is a code area where I'm actually gonna be inserting my additional uh, controls here that'll help me display the, uh, or render my subsites. So I'm gonna use uh, some of the templates here uh, to render what I want. So uh, uh, what I have here, let me just switch to the full code view. Uh, what I have here, I have the data source, which is gonna connect to the list of webs on the site and uh, pass in the current web parameter. And then that data source with the name SP data source is gonna be then consumed by the grid view. So uh, you can have a number of grid views on that page. Uh, you can have several uh, if, you want, if you wanted to connect to different data sources and display different information. In my case, I'm just gonna have one and it's gonna use my uh, web data source here. Um, and uh, it'll just display uh, a hyperlink field which uh, is gonna point to the site URL as, as well as a description which is for later part of this demo. So let's see if I save this page. And I'm gonna refresh my page. And here's what I have. I have a list of uh, project sites here. Uh, but what's, what I would like to do also on the top of just displaying the list of project sites, if you notice I just click on a project, it'll take, me to, it'll take me to a particular project workspace. What I would like to do here, I would like to also actually specify additional metadata in the project site. And depending on that metadata, I will either see the project or not see the project. For example, let's decide project three here is actually a closed project. Uh, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna actually go to that particular project three site settings and go to title description and navigation and say closed in its description. As you can see, the, the metadata of the subsite is a little bit you know, way less than a typical SharePoint list item or document, right? I can't really have uh, multiple pieces of metadata here. So really the description is uh, one of the ways for me to take advantage of that additional information about the project. So let's say I say here that the project uh, three is closed. Uh, what I would like to do, I would like to, uh, when I go when I go to the home page, uh, I would like to actually see uh, or not see the closed project in my list. So to do that, I'm just gonna uh, drop in the a JavaScript here, which uses jQuery, and it'll basically uh, get a hold of my class defining the uh, the particular the description, which is rendered right here. Um, in this case, the description is as closed, and if um, if the uh, uh, particular site uh, description matches what I've defined here, which is closed. Uh, that particular line is going to be hidden. So let's take a look at how, how that uh, uh, works. So I'm going to uh, drop my um, script right here along with other scripts on the page and uh, save my page and refresh this page. As you'll see, project three doesn't show up here anymore because uh, it matches our keyword here, uh, which is closed. So obviously you can have uh, many, lo lots of other keywords here that'll define um, whether the project is, uh, whether the project is gonna show up or not. So and if, if I wanted to hide uh, project three now, um, I can just go into the description again and type in uh, closed. And uh, when I go back to my homepage, I should not see project four also in the list. So obviously you can define several uh, data sources here and several grid views to only show you know closed or open projects but that's uh, one of the handy ways that you can display the roll-up of your subsites on your site. Check out more handy videos on uh, customizations and configurations of SharePoint at sharematch.com or my YouTube channel.